Krishna, oh, he left it Govardhan for seven days. It was so much affluence, no? Especially. But even they thought that Krishna is not doing anything. Only by the worship of Nanda Baba, oh, Narayan is doing from his own business. And all the Sakhas were, te were telling that, oh, my Sakha is very weak, oh, we should also help him. And so they took their sticks and all. Oh, and they were thinking that, oh, Krishna has now no, no, no any. All we are doing. And what gopis? Radha and Lalita Vishakha. Oh, they were singing on Govardhan. Oh, if you are coming down, then what? You will be finished at one seat to ashes. So be on our reason. And thus, anyone never thought that Krishna is doing. So, they don't feel any affluence in Krishna there, in Braja. But in Dwarka, even, even for the kings, they are like servants. Darshan. And they can be feel affluence and they will pray to Krishna. Uddhav, he went to Braja, but he has so much affluence for Krishna, you see. So he always, if he is friend, ever anything but for the man. He could not be any a grass or blade of so this is so. So the mood of gopi is so high, so high. And we want no qual no qualification. But hearing from the superiors, a greed has come that we will serve only Radhika and Krishna can do by. Not anything else, no other desire. If coming or oh, taking out, then you can come. So this is the essence of Rupa Goswami Shiksha from Chaitanya Mahasaya. But there are so many things. Who is Rupa Goswami? And then tell him. See, Rupa Swarupa, uh, Swarupa Priya Sarupe, Daita Sarupe, Prema Sarupe, Sahaja Dhirupe, Prabhure Sarupe. Oh, no, very. So, oh, the meaning is very harsh. Gradually you should try to realize all this. by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who wrote? Uh, no, no. Two verses. <coughs> One was, first was that, the glorification of name. Tunde Tanda. And second was what? Priya Sahachari. So young Priya Sahachari. The meaning and essence of that. Oh, so young Krishna. All these things. Oh, in the history of Vaishnava, or oh, they will be written in golden letters for a eternal. So you should, if you want to engage your heart's mind in this, then you'll be of oh, very rare high class of Vaishnava. I want to help you all. But you, you should also try to follow. Try to follow. If any desire, you cannot follow. Or oh, something. So today, go Pramanandi. I, I know that besides being a Murti, a disguise of Murti, Krishna, you're also the Murti of reconciliation. I was wondering if you could explain this is um, in the Sanatana Shiksha about the queens of Dwarka. It says, only in the conjugal mellow are there two ecstatic symptoms called mood advanced and adi rude highly advanced. The advanced ecstasy is found among the queens of Dwarka and the highly advanced ecstasies are found among the gopis. You can ask tomorrow, but it is very 
on the right. And I think that uh, there are rabbi, uh, rare devotees to understand all this. So we should also come from the uh, beginning. We are all like Jigamas. What? I've, I've so you should come here. Oh. I've heard that you advise students not to read Srimad Bhagavatam, and I can understand that, you know, they should not go read s some Sanskrit without purports or to go reading some unknown translation without purports. But my understanding has always been that in the, in, in the translation made by Sri Prabhupada, the, the whole, whole point of the Bhaktivedanta purports was to try to uh, make it digestible for anywhere from very low devotee all the way up to very high devotee. So my understanding was the purports was specifically to make it digestible so that it, there wouldn't be that problem of uh, oh, defect. That, you, know. uh, you are always saying that we should not reach him as well as well. Oh, uh, I never told. I never told. Well, then, then I was told wrongly by... Yes, you. yes. I never told like this. But rather I told that oh, with honor you should read. And especially try to hear from bona fide Vaishnav. I am never. Oh, oh, he may be another Narayan Maharaj. <laughs> India, there are so many Narayan Maharaj. So, they, so anyone has wrongly told you. <laughs> oh, it may be Badrin Narayan, not myself. Oh, really, really. Not really. Uh, they have told you the advice of Bhakti not this. Uh, Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Maharaj, the, uh, the friend of Srila Bhakti Vedanta Maharaj. Oh, he wrote first uh, Krishna Bhav, and this is the purport and uh, essence of Darshan. How, how I can say? My all Guru Parampara is telling to read with honor. Oh, I cannot tell, I cannot make offense like this. No. He probably misunderstood. <coughs> you always say the best thing is to first, you should try to hear in the association of high class Vaishnava to yes. explain everything to you. And if you're not in that association, then you should still, with honor, try to read it. And if you're very sincere, then that will take you to a high class Vaishnava. Yes. Okay. Just now, okay. said, yes. just, just now you were saying that one should be with honor and pray to Narada Muni, which is the last day. Yes. You were saying just now. Delhi, I'm telling you. Gold, Prabhupada. Now we can pray to Oh, no, no. It was for me. Oh, any mama's name? One announcement, please. Uh, tonight is very cold night. If people are too cold in their tent. Oh my God. Okay, well, I'll just give him mine. No, 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 I can give him this. So, if anybody of you wants to come, you please, please approach me because we have to arrange invitation for you. So after that program, I will be staying over there. You please come because we have to do it in advance. Hare Krishna. So there will be many living devotees, uh, Shamarani Didi, Aranya Maharaj, and uh, Shripad Madhu Maharaj, and uh, Shripad Urukram Prabhu. And so we're going to have an ongoing process of uh, hearing and chanting in the Sublime Association. Of course, uh, every day Guru Dev is in class. So if anybody is interested to come, yes, approach me, we will arrange it. Could you play? Yes. It's about eight or nine days. We are going to, to, to no. rent a resort you, place you, you, you in Oscars in Moscow in a very okay, nice okay. forest okay. type of area in the countryside so that everybody will be nicely accommodated. So if anybody wants to come again, please approach me. Hare Krishna. Jayanta Das. Jayanta Das, yeah. Your name? It's end of July. Actually, 28th of July, and uh, the whole thing will end up like 5th or 6th of August. 
and then Gurudev goes back to India. Hare Krishna, one more announcement. Due to the uh, hostile climatic conditions today, the fire yagya was uh, postponed, but the fire sacrifice will take place tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, just here at the Panda. Someone has lost their watch. Is this his watch? No? No. You can get it from Brajanath Prabhu if you find if you discover that it's yours. A pair of cartels with a red connection string. A pair of cartels with a red connection string. Please see me or go in the bucket desk. Please kindly accept this drama as our humble offering at your lotus feet. Five thousand years ago, in the ancient land of India, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, descended to the earth along with his eternal associates. Sri Krishna appeared himself in order to annihilate the miscreants and to give protection to his devotees, but especially he came to display his transcendental, wonderful, loving pastimes with the residents of Braj for the supreme benefit of the conditioned souls. Living in the village of Vrindavan with his parents, Nanda Maharaj and Ishoda Maya, dancing and playing his flute, Vajendra Nandana Shamashundar enchanted all the gopas, gopis, cows, and also the deer, peacocks, trees, and all other creatures of large Bhumi. Once, Krishna was sitting with Srimati Radhika, and a bee wanted to enter Srimati Radharani's feet, thinking them to be sweet lotus flowers. to Mathura. There, Krishna killed Kamsa and rescued Vasudev and Devaki from Kamsa's prison. Very soon afterwards, Vasudev arranged for Krishna to receive initiation from Gargacharya. Somewhere in Nandababhan, 
standing alone by the door. Sometimes you'll be looking inside, and sometimes you'll be looking outside. She'll be wondering, oh, where is my son at this moment? She will be crying, not knowing where I am. And here I am, accepting this sacred thread amidst a happy celebration. Mother! They lamented, saying, Considering Krishna to be their own son, they have given him the sacred thread. Now they have forcibly made him a kshatriya, and they have cruelly sent him far away to Ujjain to receive his education from Sandi Panimuni. Oh, wearing horizontal marks on his forehead, Sandi Panimuni is a Brahmavadi worshipper of Sankara. Why have they sent Krishna to him? Actually, Yoga Maya made the arrangement that Krishna be sent to Sandipani Muni because a Vaishnav guru would have recognized him as the Supreme Lord. Therefore, Krishna was sent to a devotee of Shiva, and thus his identity was not revealed. Thus, exhibiting human-like pastimes, Krishna and Balaram went to school like ordinary children just to set the example that everyone should receive knowledge from a spiritual master. Krishna and Balaram were most excellent students, and after hearing something only once, they always remembered it. In this way, they learned the 64 arts in only 64 days. When Krishna went to Mathura, Mother Yashoda stopped doing all housework. The kitchen remained unclean. All the pots were upside down. There were cobwebs everywhere. Remembering Krishna's childhood pastimes, she was always weeping and crying for her son and she began displaying the characteristics of someone that is approaching old age. Inside the house were Krishna's clothing and many of his toys, like toy cows and tiny bamboo flutes. One very hot afternoon, intensely missing her child, 
She collected all of his toys in a cloth sack, and leaving the house, she began to walk away. Shoda Devi became overwhelmed with emotion and fell down. She had so much love for Bhagavan in the form of her son. The Braj devotees have the highest level of praying, love for Krishna. Their love never comes and goes as the love in this world does. They are all eternal associates of Krishna, and their praying is like a fathomless ocean. <coughs> Returning to Mathura from Gurukula, Krishna went alone to the rooftop of the palace and looked north towards Vrindavan. Krishna saw through the eyes of his emotions that his mother was weeping so bitterly that she had become blind. All of the cows were on the verge of death and the cows were no longer taking milk from their mothers. Now the cuckoos were not singing, no peacocks were dancing all because Krishna was not there. Seeing all these things and feeling intense sorrow, Sri Krishna began to weep. Oh, In the meantime, Sri Uddhava was searching for Krishna. Uddhava, the disciple of Bihaspati, was one of the most exalted personalities in the Vishnu dynasty. Finding Krishna alone and weeping, Uddhava wanted to pacify him. Partly the son of Vasudeva Devaki, 
the fully the son of Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda Devi. Krishna said, our father and mother. He is considering me to be like his brother. Krishna, I must try to pacify him. Our father and mother are so dear to me. But a greater secret still is that my most dear ones are those Kishori Gopis. The minds of those gopis are always absorbed in me. For my sake, they have abandoned everything related to their bodies, renouncing ordinary happiness in this life, as well as religious duty necessary for such happiness in the next life. My dear Uba, for those women of Gopal, I am the most cherished object of love. Thus, when they remember me, who is so far away from them, they are overwhelmed by the anxiety of separation. Simply because I have promised to return to them, my fully devoted cowherd girlfriend struggled to maintain their lives somehow or other. Oh, Uddhava, you should go there and pacify them. Not with your logic or intelligence, but you should give them my word, my message. Oh, Uddhava, go to the gopis and give them my message. Then they will be pacified. As Uddhava prepared to leave, Krishna gave him his own Vajayanti Mala garland, his garments and jewelry, as well as his golden chariot. Krishna gave Uddhava these things so that the Braj Vasis would know that Uddhava was a bona fide representative. And as Uddhava's chariot departed, Krishna stood watching and then went out of sight. He looked towards the dust which came from the wheels. When the dust had subsided, he was thinking of the gopis and remained just standing there until someone came and took him away. Uddhava approached Vrindavan at sunset and he saw all the wonderful beauty before him. Thousands of cows and calves were grazing contentedly. Hundreds and thousands of gopis were going about their duties. They were all singing the glories of Krishna's childhood pastimes, and tears ran down their faces in a never-ending flow. <coughs> Uddhava was astounded that just by thinking and crying and singing about Krishna, <coughs> Krishna was actually present there before them. Further contemplating, Uddhava thought, I have just left Krishna in Mathura, and I don't have this mood. The gopis' mood is so full of potency that it allows them to always be with him. In fact, I now realize that Lord Krishna is only partially present in Dwarka, but here in Vrindavan he is fully manifest. Reflecting thus, Uddhava opened his eyes and looked around. This time he saw that everyone in Braj Mandal was all dried up, everyone was sad and melancholy, and no one seemed to have any life. Everyone moved about just as if they were in a dream. Arriving at Nanda Maharaja's house, Uddhava was received as an honored guest. children. How is my dear Balaram? And how, how is my dear, how, how is my dear, oh, how is my dear Krishna? <laughs> Krishna? I have never Krishna. seen anything like this before. 
Chintamani stone. He did not know what it was, but surely he thought, I must put it in a safe place. But somehow or other, he lost that stone. So naturally, he became into great anxiety and began to search here and there, everywhere he looked for that stone. One day, some people saw him and asked, what are you looking for? And he said, I have lost the most beautiful stone. And upon describing it to them, they said, oh, that was a Chintamani stone. That could have fulfilled all of your desires. That man was thunderstruck. And he cried, oh, what have I done? I had a beautiful Chintamani stone. What have I done? Oh, what have I done? So my dear boy, Uddhava, I am just like that man. I had the constant association of the Supreme Lord, and I thought he was just my son. And even if I had known that he was my son, then why am I still alive? Oh, Krishna. When Lord Ramachandra went to the forest in exile, his father, King Dasarath, was so grief-stricken in so much agony that he simply cried, Haram! Haram! And quickly he left his body. He died. But what of me? Why am I still alive even though my son is gone? Oh, I am so unfortunate, my dear Uddhava. I am the most foolish of ignorant per persons. Oh, please do not present me with any more of your foolish assumptions. I know what I am. I know what I am. I am. I am. Oh, Krishna, Krishna. I am the most foolish person. Oh. Uddhava was feeling very humbled and astonished by the words of Nanda Maharaj. While they had been speaking, Mother Yashoda was simply sitting in one place, not speaking, not moving, and she seemed to have become blind from <coughs> incessant crying. So intense was her sorrow at being separated from her son. Uddhava stayed with them and passed the night speaking about Sri Krishna's wonderful pastimes. <laughs> After sunrise, the gopis came as usual to offer their respects to Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda Maya.
They knew that Nanda and Yashoda were always grief-stricken. And they made it their very first duty to come and pay their respects. Seeing these friends of Krishna, Nanda and Yashoda would remember Krishna himself and be satisfied. And the gopis would also be pleased upon seeing Krishna's parents. Seeing the golden chariot at the door, they began to inquire among themselves, when did this chariot come here and to whom does it belong? At this time, Uddhava came before them. When the gopis saw that this boy was representing Krishna even in his dress and bodily features, they thought that he must be a soul completely surrendered to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Understanding that Uddhava had a message from Krishna, they asked him to come to a secluded forest grove to give the message. <coughs> Uddhava entered the forest of Braj and soon came upon hundreds and thousands of gopis. They were lying on the ground in deep lamentation. They had no desire for eating or sleeping or even seeing any family members. The only thing which sustained their lives was thinking about Krishna. <coughs> Sometimes one gopi would speak about a wonderful pastime and hearing it they would all start wailing and weeping. After some time they would again compose themselves a little and began to glorify Krishna all over again. And thus they lived from day to day. When Uddhava arrived, the gopis began to welcome him with polite words. Thank you. 
Gopis were speaking with Uddhava. One Gopi, Srimati Radhika, being so much absorbed in thoughts of Krishna, mistook a bumblebee to be a messenger from Krishna, and she began to address it. Trying to pass upon me by 
things from your head and my feet. But please, understand, I cannot place any reliance in you or your master. We gave up our homes, families, relatives, and even our shyness and shame, and worshipped him only. We gave up everything, and yet he did not feel any obligation to us. He left us for lost. Do you think we can place our faith in him now? Krishna advertises himself as very magnanimous. He is praised by great saints. His qualifications could be perfectly utilized. If only he would show his mercy because we are neglected by him. You poor messenger, you are only a less intelligent creature. You are six-legged, and everyone knows that four-legged creatures have some sense. But six-legged creatures do not have any sense. You do not know much about Krishna. How ungrateful and hard-hearted he is, not only in this life, but in previous lives also. <coughs> we have heard all of this from Karnavar. She has informed us that once Krishna was born in a Chetriya family and was named Dramachandra. In that birth, Instead of killing Bali, an enemy of his friends, in the manner of a Chetria, he killed him from a secure hiding place, just as a hunter kills his prey. Also, when Sirpanika, the sister of Radha, proposed an intimate relationship with him, Ramachand was too attached to his wife Sita Devi and cut off Sir Panika's nose and ears. As a Chetria, he should have satisfied her. So we know all about Krishna, how ungrateful he is. But here is the difficulty. In spite of his being so cruel and hard-hearted, it is very difficult for us to give up speaking about him, even for a moment. We, Gopis of Vrindavan, do not want to have any more friendship with that blackish boy. But we do not know how we shall be able to give up remembering and thinking about his activities. In my opinion, one should not hear the glories of Krishna because as soon as one drop of the nectar of his transcendental passion enters the ears, one becomes totally free of all material attachments. One gives up home, family, husband, wife, children, and thus makes his relatives and his loved ones unhappy. Therefore, I am requesting you to not speak of Krishna anymore. Please, do not speak speak of Krishna anymore. I do not want any relations with any black thing. Oh, Madhusudan! Madhusudan is gone!
my dear friend, you can ask for me whatever you like. Because you are so kind, I will give you anything. Please let me know. How is Krishna faring in Madrid? Tell me, does he still remember his father, Nanda Maharaj, and his affectionate mother, Nishoda Maya? Does he sometimes remember his beloved cow and coward friends, and his poor friends like us, the gopis? He must speak of us now and then. We serve him just like me. Any payment? Is there any possibility that Krishna will come back here again and place his arms around us? Please, please, put all of these inquiries to Krishna. Oh, most glorious Gopi, the mentality which you have developed in relationship to Krishna is very, very difficult to attain, even for great sages. You have achieved the highest perfectional stage of life by fixing your minds on Krishna and Krishna only. I feel myself very fortunate to have been favored by your grace to see you in this situation. Your Lord Sri Krishna, has specifically chosen me to carry his message to you. My dear Gopi, now please hear the words of your dear most Sri Krishna. My dear Gopi, my dear friend, please know the separation between ourselves is not possible at any time, at any place, or under any circumstance, because I am all pervading. Transcendental knowledge of the Absolute is no longer necessary for you. You are accustomed to love me from the very beginning of your life. My dear Gopi, in order to increase your super excellent love for me, I purposely separated myself from you. I have done this so that you may be in constant meditation on me. What if his messages and instructions save the gopis from immediate death? The gopis were relieved from their transcendental burning condition by realizing that Krishna was always with them. Uddhava was very much attracted to the attitude of the gopis because they were completely attached to Krishna. Being so inspired by the gopis' supreme love for Krishna, Sri Uddhava composed songs in praise of them, and he aspired to take birth in Vrindavan as a simple blade of grass, and in that way to receive the most wonderful dust of the gopis' lotus feet.
to tell. <laughs> oh, my heart is blessing too. Oh, <clears throat> these all drama players, especially who made it, who made it. Uh -huh. From where? From where you collect it? Thank you. <coughs> also, she must thank the part of Krishna. Oh, very good. Heart touching. The part of all the devotees. Maya Jasoda. How she was doing? He wanted to go to Mathura, and her Shakti is told, very well, I am going to Mathura. Why you are going? I am going to Mathura to see my child. I will tell Devaki Rani, Queen Devaki, that I am your maid servant. I will broom and do all the services. Oh, in whole day and night, I want to see the face of your son, not my son. Only for this I am going. I will be, oh, for whole life I will be met servant of Devakiran. Only to have a glance of your son. How it was pathetic. Our devotees, when he will hear, he will thank. He will lose his intelligence and everything. Oh, we are also sometimes laughing, seeing all these things. But when you have love and affection, somewhat, even honor, agree to realize all these things. Oh, you will be mad by here. Krishna, when he was taken, of sacred threat. And he remembered his mother, what? Oh, my mother has promised to give me so much jewels. He will fulfill my bag. This is not bag, but this. With so much golds and diamonds. Oh, very so. Oh, oh mother, oh mother. Devaki and Rani were there, but Krishna was searching his mother. Mother, mother, and his. They got out of his sense, rolling down. Mother, mother, mother. And that is why they sent to school very far away from Braj. For one, uh, for sixty-four days, Perhaps. So that Krishna will forget and he will think that I am now Jado, son of Devaki and Vasudeva. But Krishna could not. Very good remembrance <coughs> for that. And after you know, Badish, whole body is Srimad Bhagavata of Krishna. But he has five. Life. Huh? Life. Life air. Life air. And in this panch, Rash Panchadhyayi, five. But I think more something is essence of all these things. Venu Geet, Gopi Geet, Brahman Geet. Venu Geet, what? Varaha Apidam Natavarva. And in that, Oh, high class of separation mode of the gopis. Poor Parag is there. Very high class. Hmm? Oh, so many things are there. And after that, gopi ki. Jayati te dikam janmana praja srayati indira Like this. 
तव कथा तप्त जीवन कविशाप श्रवण मंगल श्रीमदात भुवि Even Krishna cannot tolerate, and he has to come. <coughs> oh, more! And what is Brahmargit? This is in the last page. Brahmargit. When he got him, oh, he could not realize that how the love and affection for Krishna in Nand Baba and in Joshua. Always zipping, always. Oh, he told Rudra, "Just say you are fortunate to be the father of some personality of Godhead." So he was so fortunate, and he replied, "You are foolish, not knowing anything. Only there was a father, and that father was Maharaj Dasar. In separation, would he told Ram?" Ram and no Ram. I am still am here. I thought that he is my only son. Also oh, many good qualities. I wanted to forget all these things. I used to go to river Jamuna. Hello, but I saw the four friends of Krishna. I remembered all the past times. Oh, on the bank of Jamuna. Oh, it remembered so much. I could not tolerate. Then I went to Goa <coughs> to forget Krishna. But when I went to Goa, then I saw that all oh, everything is there. All leaves, all uh, trees, creepers are weeping for Krishna. Krishna, so sweetest pastimes were in Goa. I could not tolerate, and I went to Bhandiyan. Something here and there. But all remembering, all remembering. Hmm? Although you told that your Krishna is supreme personality of God, I never knew this. I have known this from you. Oh, I'm so unfortunate that a son like Krishna, being supreme personality of God, eh? and he thought that oh, I'm not qualified to be a father. So he went to Mathura to new father. And he still am alive, and he began to read. And whole night this was done, and in the morning he went to take bath, but he saw fortunately a very dense forest of kadamba trees, and there he saw some gopis outside of that kunja, and they saw, oh. Anyone is coming? Who is coming? Oh, he has so good golden crown, and he has come in a golden chariot. Oh, why he has come in chariot? Oh, now Krishna has become the king of Mathura, and he wants to show her mother, his mother and father. Oh, now she! I am not only covered boy. I am become the king of Mathura. <laughs> so my servant, this last, uh, this, sabse uh, chota, servant. Oh, he is golden, golden chariot, and having golden crown and all these things. Hmm? Oh, he has come only to show the appearance of. Of this boy Krishna, and Uddhav was telling in himself, "O oh, Earth, Mother, you should be divided into two. I want to go inside. Why I came in chariot? Why I came? I came in chariot." And he was weeping, lamenting for this. And why I took the crown? Why it? Oh, this is no way. Not way to pacify any who is weeping in separation. Why I am so much foolish 
or Nanda Baba told, it is all right. And in the meantime, one asked, Oh, the, can you tell? Oh, love and affection of Krishna. There are two kinds of loves. One, worldly love. Oh, wanting something and giving. Reciprocal. And one is transcendental love. And that they discussed. Very good. That any bumblebees goes to flowers and takes honey and then gives up. And then or to another, 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 another. And then he becomes mad at bad in bad flowers. Like Kubja he can go. Now he, is, he has lost his sense. We know this fact. So this is not high class of love. You know that any beggar will go and tell, oh, what? Radhe, Radhe. And when he will be given, oh, he will at once go. Oh, oh, here, here, here. There is something to say. Oh, now, now I have no time. I, I will have to go other place. He will not test you. Any student to his teacher, when he's finished his study, oh, he will not remember his Guru Dev. Never he will go. Hmm? Oh, that's all. Like birds in tree, where there is shade, some fruits, <coughs> and something to eat, and something to be there, oh, they are there. And after finish, if the tree is burnt, Forest is burnt, or the real love. Or oh, what are these? Love, not really love. If our friendship to Krishna was high class of love, we know Krishna. He has nothing self interest. interest. And we also know. Then why our friendship broke? Can you tell? Uddhavaldu. Not anything was coming. No answer he could not. And in the meantime, Gopi saw one prominent Gopi, Kachit, Smarantim Krishna Sangamam. Or any Gopi who was lamenting out of sense whether she was died or he was alive. alive. No sign was there. Same time. So Lalita Vishakha brought cotton. cotton and saw here. Oh, little, little, something. And he saw a bamboo, big bamboo. Black, like Krishna, more black than Krishna, his friend. And he thought that, oh, Krishna is there. What doing? Oh, new, new, new friends, girlfriends, they are in, in Mathura, more than us. Oh, beautiful. Hmm? We are girl village. Hmm. Village, village girl. And they are? Town girl. Not town girl, all the princess of so many kings. Hmm? They must be beautiful. Oh, now he is going to one, and, and then when he is in man, then he goes to that to pacify here, there, one after all. Whole day and night he is he's pacifying. Hmm? Oh, and then he began. Oh, very good, right? She has ex expressed all these things. Hmm? If you have read Srimad Bhagavatam from any high class bona fide, who can be your eyes? Or oh, this is the, our aim and object. This is separation mode. Hmm? Where it was in Nandagaon. Where? Kadamba Kiyari or Uddhav Near or Vishakha Kunda, Rashasthari. Or both things are there. High class of love and affection. Very nearer Prem Sarovar. They did it. And separation mode also thou can place. High class of love. Separation mode. Without separation mode, some bhav cannot come. Never it will come. I think they have done very better. Do something. 
if they are doing so much, they, they must have found, forgotten their senses, everything. Not in this way. Oh, only some shadow they have found. Only shadow. Anyone remembering this? Uddha, what did he do? He prayed, Bande Nanda Prajay Stri Nam. Padarenam Avikshasa Jasang Hari Kathod Geet Punati Bhuvanat Asamaho I want to have a dust of the lotus feet of Nanda Baba all gopis especially to Simati Radhika I cannot pray directly I want to pray in the in which side direction, direction they are I'm praying to them. Jabai Sri Archit Ajadibi Apta Kamai Yoga Swari Gabi Sadatmani Rasha Bhushan. Krishna Satat Bhagavata Charanara Bandam Nastam Tanesh Bijahu Parida. Brahma, Shankar, Uddha, or even Suk. In trance they want the lotus feet of Krishna. And what gopi? Directly taking the lotus feet of Krishna, put his Krishna feet on their breasts, fearing that it will pinch Krishna. How wonderful! Never seen, never heard. Like the glories of the gopis. I want that you should have some greed to serve Radha Krishna. By all these, my classes, by all, oh, high class of dramas. If we have some greed, then your life will be successful. My coming to all, the, uh, all these places, especially to Braja, I want it, that you should have the uh, little bit of that greed hmm? and your life so be such. My heartly blessing to that girl. Oh, that's blamed so much. Hmm? So I think that all the uh, players of drama, they should realize a little bit even. I will think that by coming to Bezar and to Western countries is successful. But I know that some success. Even the girls, oh, far away from India and far from Bindavan, hearing my classes, oh, they selected to play this drama. So I think that there is something, must be something there. So you are so fortunate that you are lucky. So my heartly blessing to you all. I don't know all your names, uh, individual, but my heart to bless it to you that you played this drama, oh highest drama, in Shima Bhagavatam. Gaur my classes, my books, huh? my books, oh, very high class of books. I want that you should try to distribute. If you are taking five sets or ten sets, even in a year, I'm going and distribute it. Oh, it will be your great service. But also you should test and relish the nectar what is there. Not now. Ah. Hare Krishna, Srila Gurudev has just requested all the devotees to try to take part in the distribution of this transcendental nectar. In Australia, Gurudev said, oh, not book distribution, love distribution. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to distribute transcendental love and we're giving through these books. So at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, 
There will be a meeting. We invite all the devotees to attend and take part in a discussion about the philosophy and the process, how these, this love can be distributed everywhere. So the lectures will be given by Shamarani Didi and Ramvi Jaipagu, Vrindavan Didi and many other senior devotees. So please try to attend the meeting tomorrow afternoon here in the Pandal at 3 o'clock. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I'll plug it in, that way I won't have to worry I made an offense, okay, so. yeah? And then Rupa Goswami says, no, no, please forgive me. Okay, so if you're cold for... And 